Good morning. It's Saturday, July 11th. And I'm about to try to attempt to replace the lock cylinders. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I know this has to come off. Well, that was way too easy. Okay, so figured it out with the driver's door. I got the driver's door changed. I, I decided that instead of trying to mess with this and figure it out when this one isn't broken, it was sort of not a smart idea. So I already did it on the driver's door and it all works great. I have a lock now. Um, I figure I might as well go ahead and change out the cylinder on this one just so that the two door keys are the same. Uh, right now the way it is is that this door key is also the ignition key. <clears throat> And here's a little star bit. And then the whole thing just lifts up. Once you have this screw off, this screw off, the screw down here off, and obviously this plate off, and the window thing off. And now I get to peel this back. Okay, so what's holding the door lock on is this clip, which is, this is the metal of the door, this clip, and then the door lock is through there. I use this real specialized tool to pull it off. Once you get that off, you just pull the lock out from the outside. Show you what you have to do here. So that bar going down has to connect into the lock mechanism. Once that's done, it all works. Then we've got to put this back in. Okay, that job is done. So I'm about to start uh, covering this with carpet. I got this really thin stuff. It's an indoor-outdoor. It doesn't have anything on the back, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, we could thin so that I can run staples through it. And uh, gray as well, which is the color I wanted. I got a 6x9 rug um, because I probably will end up using this. I like to try to use this to line the inside of the over cab storage area, the ceiling of it.
so there we go great big huge spot for wiggles I can actually leave that window down pretty far and no one can get to the door handle to unlock the door um, I can access all my things down here So Wiggles platform is all done. Um, the leg here, the pegs are drying in it. And there are three bookshelf um, brackets here that hold this together. I'm really very pleased with how this turned out. Um, I didn't think it would look as good as this, um, but I'm really very happy with it. So I got him a new lead. It's only four foot and it's hooked down into the seat belt. It might be a little bit too long, but I can probably tie a couple knots in it if it is. Uh, but that will give him plenty of room to run around on that platform and yet not hit the dashboard if something happens. The other thing I did today was something just a little simple thing. I um let me pull this out. So the screws holding these on come from the back and go through and they were poking all the way out. Um I cut myself a few times on them, kept catching stuff on them, and I didn't want to rip up the material on this or on this. Um, in fact, I already have blood there. It stained the wood. So that'll stop that from doing any more damage. I will wrap this video up and I will probably do some more filming tomorrow. So I hope you have a great Saturday and have a great evening. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.